My beloved love, the whale and orca elders want you to give others the privilege of seeing who you truly are and for you to see the same in other beings. Reveal the unique note your soul came here to sing. This could be related to something that you are energetically or emotionally purging. Now, of course, as I always say, I am not a medical professional, so always be sure to explore any potential medical causes with your doctor or a professional first. But I am feeling that there's a lot of really deep pent-up energy that is actually being released at this time, and that can manifest physically as well. These feelings of sadness that might come up for you, Divine Feminine, from time to time, are not indications that something is going wrong. It's actually an indication of how far you've grown. I'm getting that sometimes these sad feelings might come up and make you almost tempted to go back into something that you've outgrown. So possibly to go back into an old mindset, to connect with someone from your past that no longer resonates with this new version of you, this more expanded version of you. And whenever you're getting motivated to a particular action from a space of sadness or anxiety or fear, know that that is not actually your intuition but just the pull of old familiar energetic pathlings. And you are all about building new pathways, new pathways in your own energetic field. I mean research has even shown how habit loops are formed and how it takes an estimated 21 days to form a new habit in a new direction. And I feel like this is coming up in the reading because a divine feminine is going through something that is requiring the formation of new habits. I also heard the word rituals. So you might have certain daily routines or rituals that you are getting into the habit of doing that are actually radically supporting your spiritual growth at this time. But regardless of what you're doing physically, what habits you might be putting into place, I'm getting that at the root of this, What's actually going on is that you are practicing holding a new frequency that corresponds with a higher timeline, with a very high vibrational vision that you are holding for yourself, and in fact, for whoever I'm speaking to here. You may actually see glimpses or flashes of this vision, particularly in your dreams or while you're falling asleep or while you're meditating. These flashes of vision for your future aren't just fantastical, they aren't just daydreams. They are actually you perceiving these kind of window-like glimpses into this higher vibrational timeline that you are subconsciously feeling and sensing yourself beginning to fully align with. This is the card that fell out of the deck. So what I'm really seeing is this is about your transformation into the Empress energy, specifically into someone who holds their place of power through their creativity, through their femininity, through their ability to artistically express themselves, to be in flow state, rather than holding power from a place of control or restriction or limitation. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.